Hey, hi guys, uh, thanks for joining in. Let's discuss uh, one more uh, very important topic in uh, Informatica. So today we'll be seeing uh, uh, slowly changing dimensions, which are nothing but uh, uh, SED implementations, okay? So there are plenty of uh, types in SEDs, uh, but uh, out of all those types, uh, we'll be seeing SED type one, type two, type three, which are very important. Uh, you have to know at least SED type one and type two, because in interviews, people will always try, uh, try to ask you so many questions on type one and type two. And uh, sometimes we will be facing some questions on type three also. Okay. Let's discuss this SED type one, type two, type three today. And let's understand how they, how do we can implement this and what are these um, type one, type two, type three also, okay? So there are other, like there are plenty of other types also, type four, type five, type six, but out across the globe, people will always, uh, will will work with type one and type two only, most of the time, like 95 percentage, you will be working with type one, type two, but rarely, you know, depending upon your client's requirement, you will be implementing SED type three, but um, until now, I never got a chance to really work with type three also. Okay, but uh, you have to know because people will ask a lot of questions on type one, type two, type three in interviews. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and understand what is type one first. So SED type one is nothing but it maintains current version of the records. What does that mean? Let's take one simple example and try to understand this concept. So think that there is a source uh, um, Maybe th think that there is a HR team who is logging all the employee details in a text file. Okay. So let's think that it's a flat file or a text file or a CSV file, anything you can take. And the name of the uh, file is EMPSRC. They're uh, logging the employee details. They're collecting the employee details like employee EMP ID, EMP name, EMP name, and EMP cell, salary and DEPT ID, they are, they are like uh, collecting these data when the whenever there is a new employee join, they are collecting this data into a text file, okay? Uh, let's take, uh, think that there is a target table or let's think like this. Uh, the client wants, the HR team is lo lo logging everything in a text file, right? Let's take txt file or something like that, okay? The HR team is logging everything uh, into a text file, but the client wants end of the day, on daily basis, whenever there is a new employee join the company, they want the company wants the, the data that is stored in the text file into a target table, like into Oracle or something like that. Okay. Into a database. Let me take Oracle here as our target and rename the table name as EMPTGT. And we will be maintaining the same columns, but in data warehouse. Like in what does that mean? Uh, we'll be maintaining in a RDBMS table, target table. It can the database can be anything. It can be Oracle SQL Server or any any other database also. But in our example, I'm I'm taking it as a Oracle database. Okay. So the what is the requirement? The HR team is maintaining all the employee detail details. Like whoever are joining the company, they are maintaining the the employee details in text file. Okay. But the client wants on daily basis whenever any employee joined. They want and they want to take the data that is there in the text file and load it into a target table. We will be using Informatica. We'll be connecting to this file and load the data into the target table. I hope that is clear. Okay. Uh, let's take one simple example. Um, so think that there is one employee who joined our company with uh, some five thousand five hundred dollars and he works in ten department. Okay, and the HR team logged the details of uh, Steve into the text file. On daily basis, we need to load the data into the target table, right? So we'll be using Informatica and we'll take the new employee who ever joined the company in and load it into the target table. Okay, and after six months, Steve is performing very, performing very well. So the company wants to increase, increment his salary to 8,000. So the HR team again uh, updated the text file with 8,000 updated the salary of Steve to 8,000. Now we like, we need to load the data, right? Uh, with Informatica on daily basis, we'll be taking this record and we'll be updating this record to 8,000. Okay. And again, at that time, um, there is one more new employee joined and he works in a, a different department, like a, a 20 department maybe. Uh, take uh, just sample data. So we need, we'll be using Informatica again and we'll be loading the data into target table, right? That's what the requirement. 
so after, like uh, like think that this is december right i think that um, uh, due to the holiday season the client wants to increment the, the both the employee salaries with some $2000 so the steve's salary becomes 10000 and uh, musk's salary becomes 6000 and we need to take and update the records in the target table right 10000 will be updating uh, we will be using informatica and update the uh, target table or we'll be truncate the data and load the data freshly also. We can do anything. But the thing is, see, like we have all the time, we are maintaining the current version of the record. The target table contains only the current version. Do you do you have a Steve record, like uh, the old record of Steve? When he joined, the salary of Steve is 6, 000, uh, 5,500, right? We don't have that salary of Steve in the target table, right? So it means that, Whenever you are implementing SCD type 1, we will always maintain only the current version of the records. We will not be having any old records, old, old salary or old uh, version of the record. We, see here, you can observe here itself, right? We, you, we don't have Steve's old version of the record. And we don't know what is a Steve, like a, when Steve joined the company, what is his salary? And we, we don't even know the Musk uh, first salary. When he joined, what is the first, uh, what is the salary of Musk? Uh, when he joined, we don't know, right? We are not maintaining it. Here we like it's two records that way. That's why we can remember. But the thing in real time, we will not be uh, remembering all the time, right? After ten years, if you want to check for Steve first, uh, Steve salary when he joined, we we are not. If we are not maintaining it, we'll we'll not uh, know what's what's his salary when he joined the company, right? So that this is one simple example I can tell you for SED type one. We will always maintain only the current version of the records. Okay, let's go and. SED type 1. This is nothing but SED type 1. I hope that is clear. Okay. And this is SED type 1. Let me take this one out. Let me take here. Okay. So this is SED type 1. Let's go and understand SED type 2. It's very, very, very easy and easy to understand concept. See here. SED type type 2 is nothing but it maintain all the versions of the record or you can simply say that it maintain history. What does that mean? Let's take the same example this time. Don't worry, of, don't worry about uh, what are the columns that I am maintaining at this point of time. I will tell you what is the use case for that when we are implementing the labs, but just focus here. So we now we are discussing SED type 2. Okay. SED type 2 this one. So let, let's remove this everything. I don't want uh, these records in the beginning. And we'll be having uh, we'll be having one extra column. We can like SED type two can be maintained, can be implemented in two, two or three different ways. One way is like using flags, or the other way is versioning. Something like that. It totally depends upon developer to developer or it depends upon the requirement also. But for now, in order to understand the concept, I just want to uh, use flag concept, okay? Whenever we are inserting a new record, we will be flagging it as a Y record. Like the current version of the record, we will be flagging it as Y. Let me tell you uh, by taking simple example. Take the same record. Think that um, our HR team is like uh, maintaining all the records in text file, right? So think that the Steve joined today with some salary, $4,500 or $5,000, he joined our company. And he were, he he decided, like we decided to allot him to dep department 10, okay? So now we'll be loading Informatica. The client, what is the client requirement? Do you remember the client wants whatever the data that uh, HR team is lo logging in text files, that those records should be loaded into the target table on daily basis. So for that, uh, we'll be using Informatica, right? As a ETL tool. So we'll be connecting to this text file and we'll be uh, extracting the data and loading into the target table. That's it. So we have a new employee who joined our company with 5,000 salary. So we'll be loading the data. We'll be taking this record and we'll be loading the data into the target table with flag Y so that we can say that this flag is like active flag or you can say active. Okay. Now, we can insert the record with active. So this is the current record active in the sense. So tomorrow, like after six months, a new employee joined uh, Musk and his salary is 8,000. 
and he works in a different uh, department and the company based upon steve performance the company wants to increase his salary like uh, he uh, they want to increment with ten thousand dollars so the salary becomes fifteen thousand dollars think that the steve salary becomes fifteen thousand dollars so when we are inserting the records into the target table we'll be doing we'll be taking this record uh, we'll be taking the new record load the data into the target table and we also load the steve record into the target table as an active and this will be active this time and we'll be updating the old record as inactive you understand so now again after six months uh, steve they want to increase they want based upon their performance they want to increase again like five thousand dollars the steve salary becomes twenty thousand and musk salary becomes thirteen thousand now that we want to take these salaries right we'll be using informatica we'll take the both the records and load the data into the target table with active flag and we make the old record as inactive because the, the those are not the current version right so we will always maintain the current version records with the active and the old records as inactive do you understand what i am doing here so in this case in sre type 2 we maintain the history of the data now we can tell that uh, what is the first, uh, uh, like if the company wants to know what is the actual salary that they assigned to Steve when he joined the company, they can, they can pull that record, right? See, we are maintaining the history. And what, like if they want to know what is the actual salary that they uh, allotted to Musk when he joined the company, $8,000. We are, even we can know the current, uh, current salary of the Musk also. We can, even we can know uh, the current version of the uh, uh, current salary of Steve also. And he, they can also address uh, such type of questions like um, how many times they they have uh, uh, incremented the salary for Steve and Musk. They can like they can answer all these questions by using the data that is there in the target table, because it, we are maintaining history. That's why we can answer. But in the SRE type, one, we can we we, are, we will not be maintaining any history data. That's why we will always maintain only current version of the records. We cannot answer. We cannot know what is the old record versions. Or we cannot know what is the old salary or actual salary of Steve when he joined the company. So that is the advantage of SED type 2. When we like SED type 2 is, is always maintain history. That that is nothing but it maintains all versions of the record. Okay. I hope that is clear. And what is SED type 3? Let's go and understand SED type 3. So it is very easy. SED type 3, it, it maintains current version of the record as well as it maintains, let me write it down, that will be easy to understand. It maintains current version of the record as well as one previous version of the record. What does that mean? Let me show you what does that mean. So let's go to the same example. Let's take the same example. Let's take this example only. We'll take the same data also. So see here, SED type three, right? Uh, let's go and uh, take this one. SED type three, let's put it here and make it type three. Okay. So see here, the current version of the record will be there. And one previous version of the record will be there. What is the previous version of Steve record? 15,000, right? And this record will not be present in the target table. Only one previous version. That's why this will not be there in the target table. Okay. I hope that is clear. This will be completely removed from the, we'll maintain only the current version and one previous version of the record and all other versions will be deleted. We'll not maintain those in the target table. That's what we discussed, right? SED type 3 is nothing but it maintains current version of the record as well as one previous version of the record. I hope that is clear. Okay. So these are the different types that we need to know when it comes to 
uh, interviews as well as at your workplace definitely you will be like wherever you joined you will definitely touch this scd type 1 and type 2 implementations for sure definitely and uh, sometimes you will be you will be getting a chance to work with scd type 3 also but rarely it totally depends upon the client's requirement okay i hope that is clear uh, if not uh, please try to comment uh, i will take one more simple examples and try to explain in a much more better way so that you can understand the concept okay so we will we will get to know like uh, when we implement the labs also uh, there also will be like uh, we'll see like how we can implement all this sd type 1 type 2 and all okay but uh, before that you have to understand this concept it is very very important okay uh, i think uh, that's about it uh, and until then take care guys thank you so much